Hello, and welcome to this walkthrough of Hero Character Creation in Brunelleschi Age of Architects, the free-to-play social strategy game available at brungame.com. This is uh, the screen that you'll see immediately after creating a new account. You'll be given the option of creating a Lord character or a Hero character. We're going to go ahead and select a Hero character this time around. So we'll just click, uh, click Create New there, and then uh, you'll see the five paths, the basic paths available. Um, they'll show a little bit of information about some attributes. If you want more information about those attributes, just click on the highlighted names, and the catalog page for the attribute will be displayed. We're going to select the middle of the road trader path. We're also going to select the male gender. At this point, we'll be presented with nine options. These are the character classes that correlate with the trader path. Um, as you can see, we have a variety of choices here, but we're just going to go with an extremely standard merchant. I'll select them there. At this point, um, you'll be given the option of selecting uh, your first character trait, and this is your birth sign. Uh, it's your astrological sign, and it provides a range of bonuses and penalties that are fairly mild, but will affect your, your character over the entire course of the game. If you're not ready to commit to any of the bonuses or penalties, just go ahead and select the officious sign here and that will, uh, will provide you uh, no, no bonuses or penalties. Next, you'll be asked to select a favorite season. This is a very broad choice that will give you a long-lasting bonus, as well as a long-lasting penalty in the off-season. So if you select spring here, you'd gain happiness in the spring, but a storage penalty in the fall. And these just help you build your character's personality. If you uh, don't want to select any of these bonuses, then you can always use the none option here. You're also asked to select a favorite day. There are no downsides to selecting a favorite day. It just gives you a 5% uh, action point regeneration bonus on your day of choice. You'll also be asked to select a favorite phase of the moon. This is another um, timed bonus and penalty combination. You will receive a bonus during your favorite moon phase and a penalty during the off phase of Crossfire. Uh, as always, you can select none in order to avoid any bonuses or penalties. Here you'll be asked to make a cosmetic selection of your favorite colors. Uh, then you'll be asked to choose a culture. The culture choice uh, mainly determines your interactions with other players and uh, with settlements. The culture that you choose might cause diplomatic bonuses or penalties depending on how you're interacting with other cultures and what the culture of the person you're interacting with. If you want to opt out of that choice, simply select Cosmopolitan, which will provide no bonuses or penalties, and that will move you on to religion. Your character's religion is um, usually a, a bit of, of private information, and this is something that will also affect your interactions with other characters and with settlements. Settlements can have official religions, um, and this will uh, cause a variety of effects in terms of the uh, religious and magical actions in the game. As always, you can choose other or atheist or agnostic in order to, to basically dodge this choice. And finally, you'll be asked to select a philosophy. This really just is how your character looks at the world and what mechanism they're going to approach the environment of the Renaissance with. Um, these choices, uh, again, inter affect the interactions you have with other characters. The philosophical choice will provide mild bonuses that will add up over the course of your character's um, lifetime. Just go ahead and select the positive list here. And finally, we'll see a collection of the uh, religions and cultures and other things that we've selected. And they'll all be displayed, and you'll, of course, have the option of going back and adjusting any of those. Finally, you'll be asked to create a name for the character and agree to the terms of service at which point um, you'll be able to continue on into the game. Well, thanks for watching this video, and we hope that you will join us at BruneGame.com and experience Brutaleski Age of Architects uh, completely free. Thanks.